This video will be about how to do the multinomial logit model, the conditional logit model, and the mixed logit model in SAS. I put there the multinomial probit uh, model, but I don't have a program for this yet. So let's go ahead and look at the programs. Here's my SAS program opened, and I have the program here for the multinomial logit model, and I have the program already executed, and the results are shown on the right. So when we look at the data set, this is the kind of uh, data that we have. It's data on fishing mode, and the dependent variable would be mode. Uh, so we have each row is an observation, an individual making a choice on how to fish. They have four choices, beach, pier, private, and charter. And we see that the first person has picked charter, the second person has picked charter, the third person has picked private, pier, and so on. There are two, there is a variable that we will consider, and this variable is income. And notice that the income variable does not uh, depend on uh, whether or on what alternative the individuals have chosen. So let's close the data set and go back to the program. Uh, we're reading in the data multinomial underscore fishing and if we look at the means uh, for the data set for the variables mode and income mode would be our dependent variable income would be our independent variable. So these are the frequencies for each of the four uh, modes of fishing, and this is the percent frequency. So we see that the most chosen alternative uh, is actually charter and then uh, private. Uh, here, I, I think SAS organized them alphabetically in, in, um, uh, as, as different modes. So. Um, the multinomial logit model, we would do this with proc logistics. You're reading in the data, and the model mode would be the dependent variable, income would be the independent variable, and link would be equal to G logit. And in this case, SAS would automatically pick the reference category if you don't specify one. And in this case, you see how it says here logit model use mode equal private as the reference category. So it just picked the last one uh, that it came alphabetically. So we have four um, values here for the dependent variable, and these are the parameter estimates. So notice here that we have um, three sets of coefficients estimated for income. Because we have four alternatives, we have three sets of coefficients. And one thing that you can say is that in comparison to the reference category, which is private, those uh, that have higher income are less likely to choose the beach option, less likely to choose the charter option, and less likely to choose the peer option uh, for fishing. So that's how you interpret these. And also in comparison to the private, you can see what are the odds ratio um, for when income increases for the likelihood of them selecting um, one of these options. So these negative coefficients here correspond to odds ratios of less than one. The, the next um, procedure here that we have is if you specify the base outcome. If you look at this procedure and the procedure above, we have everything else uh, the same except for the fact that we're saying that class is mode, that's our dependent variable, and we're giving you for reference, we will p uh, pick the beach category. And in this case, you see how it says beach category would be chosen as the reference category. And when you look at the um, results, you see that now for income, the beach uh, category is not here because that's the reference category, the one which is skipped and for which the coefficients are normalized to equal to zero. So the way to interpret that is that in comparison to the beach alternative, 
people that have higher income are well this is not significant but they're less likely to select the peer option and more likely to select the private option okay so this is how to do the multinomial logic model and I don't have a program for the probit model so next let's look at the conditional logic model in SAS and I have opened here the program and I have already executed it so let's look again at the data and here we have data that is in what we call the long form versus the wide form so notice here that we have ID and this is the first person the second person the third person and so on and for each of them the the fish mode is one of the four options so we are listing the four options for every single individual and the mode is which which option or alternative did this individual select so the first person selected charter the second person selected charter the third person selected private the fourth person selected peer and so on okay so here what we want to do is we would like to consider the um, effects of price and and catch rate on the likelihood of selecting a particular alternative and so we would use two uh, independent variable one of them is a price and one of them is catch cube so price notice that each individual faces different uh, prices for each of the options and the second individual faces different prices for their options and so on okay and then we also have uh, the catch rate for each of the options differs now notice that if we have a variable that does not vary with the alternatives this variable like income is repeated for each of the option for each of the individuals across all the alternatives so income is exactly the same and it's repeated four times another way in which to specify the dependent variable with the long form is to put the dummy variable equal to one if this option is selected and zero otherwise so these are the four available options and the first person picked charter therefore this is uh, the line under which we would have the dummy equals to one and the rest would be zero for the second person we have again charter so that option would be so that would be equal to one and the rest zero the third person selected private so we would have this line right here e equal to one and the rest for this person would be equal to zero and so on so we would use this variable d I don't think you can see it that way if it's highlighted but we would use this variable D as the the dependent variable here okay so let's go ahead and close the data and I had the windows rearranged a little bit okay so here's back we're back to the program and we have D is our dependent variable P and Q are our independent variables and you can see the mean for D is 0.25 because we have four options and they have to pick one of this four so that's why it's 0 0.20, 0 0.25 that's the average price and average catch rate uh, so you can also summarize the frequency for this D but again uh, we have a quarter of them are equal to ones and the rest are zero which is not surprising for this uh, for the the way the variable is defined so next we can use the procedure MDC to do the conditional logic model and here we specify model D is the dependent variable P and Q are the independent variable you do type equals C logit and the number of choice being four and you also have to say which one is your ID variable because for each ID or person um, the, the software needs to know which option they have picked so in this case 
we don't have income as the independent variable I don't think that this procedure here can put uh, a variable that does not vary across the alternatives so if we look at the output we only have the parameter estimates of P and Q so we have that higher price of an option leads to lower likelihood of it being selected and higher catch rate leads to higher uh, likelihood of the option being selected uh, but then again we don't have income as the independent variable so this differs a little bit than the results that I showed you in the example okay so the final thing that I wanted to show you is how to do the mixed logit model in SAS and I'm going to open and look at the data and this is the data set that I have um, so again it's a completely uh, it's a similar data set but we have eliminated here the um, charter option I don't know why it's just that's how the example came so we don't have four options here we just have three options that's not to say that you can't do it with four just this is the example now with three options so again we have the long form of, spe of specifying the data with each ID having three rows now one for each of the alternatives and here are the alternatives uh, specified and here is what what the third person picked private the fourth person picked peer fifth person pick private and so on and now we also have P um, would be the price for each of the alternatives and you see that there's a different price for different options and we also have the catch rate which we have a different one for different options we will also use two dummy variables one of them would be dummy variable for beach which is equal to one if the option that we're considering is a, a, a beach so we would have one basically on every like third uh, or fourth um, row and same for peer if the option here that you see is peer then you would have a one and zero otherwise so we would have these ones uh, periodically and um, yes we would um, we would skip uh, we would skip the private uh, variable for for the analysis so next thing we can also define dummy variables for Y beach which is the multiplication of income and beach and for Y peer which is the multiplication of income and peer and we would use those in the analysis as well so going back to the program uh, one thing that we will have here is um, we can calculate the means for the for the variables and again you see for D the mean is 0.33 because they could pick one of the three options and we have again the mean for the dummy variable for beach and private of 0.33 percent okay so then uh, to do the mixed logic model we again use the proc MDC model would be equal to D that's our dependent variable Q is the independent variable we have the dummy variables and we have also the interaction variables here and we have P which is the price that would be an independent variable and we're also saying type equals mixed logic the number of choice is three mixed we would use a normal parameter and for that we would use P as the price so when you use this program in your own research what you need to put here is the dependent variable what you need to put here is all the independent variables including the one that for which we will consider the random parameters and one thing you need to change here is also put the name of the variable here for which um, we would consider these random parameters and also of course change the number of choices depending on on the pro on the problem that you have so when you when we estimate the mixed logic model these are the results that we get um, 
higher higher catch rate would lead to higher likelihood of using um, of using that uh, alternative. Then we have that the dummy variable for beach is uh, negative and significant. And this one again is for private is negative and significant. This is in comparison to the reference category uh, that we had here. Then look at these parameters on the price. Price was our variable that had random parameters. So this is price for mean and this is price, the standard deviation of price. And so if price increases of an alternative, we have less likelihood or lower likelihood of this alternative being selected, which makes sense. The more expensive it is, less likelihood of being selected. But we also have that as the standard deviation increases, we have this uh, likelihood in, in increases as well. And the way to interpret this, this parameter here is that there is a considerable he heterogeneity across individuals. Uh, in terms of how they re react, uh, what is the effect of the price on the likelihood of the alternative being selected. So this is all I had on how to do the three models, the multinomial logic model, the conditional logic model, and the mixed logic model in SAS. Thank you for watching.